Welcome to a wet, rainy Monday morning. Well, it ain't morning, it's afternoon actually. Uh, gotta do a little bit of maintenance on this Cat 308. Something's been giving me problems on it for a while. It's really getting on my nerves. And uh, so it's time to take care of that. I'm gonna start it up and you, you can see if you tell me what it is. Well, in uh, typical fashion, it made a liar out of me. So I'll just tell you what it is, the belts are squealing and they are absolutely driving me nuts. Uh, I guess because there's a lot of moisture in the air today, maybe there's the belt, belts are a little bit moist, whatever. They're not squealing for you like I thought they would. So we're gonna dive into this and get those belts changed. And uh, uh, I'll just say this, some days you're the windshield, some days you're the bug. And today I am the bug working on a project down in uh, Ringo, Georgia on retaining wall. And I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a few minutes. Let's look and see how we can uh, get these fan blades off. And uh, as per usual, I was gonna show y'all in these dark spots back in this engine, but that flashlight don't work. Batteries are dead, imagine that. So it looks like there's a shroud, fan shroud right here. And the belts, uh, there's two belts on it and uh they're right here one here and one back in there so i'm not real sure what we're looking at here anyway there's a tensioner there's a tensioner here for the alternator there's a tensioner here for the air conditioner and uh the air conditioner belt there so i know we're going to loosen those and get these belts off the pulleys but how do you get them off of the fan because there's the radiator's back in there. I'm assuming this shroud has to come off. I also look at this side, and this is not a side that I want to mess with. I mean, there's uh, all kinds of radiator stuff here, all kinds of bolts and nuts. Surely to goodness you don't remove all that to get to the fan belts. So after digging a little bit more, I think I've kind of got a plan. But before my plan, I did what everybody else in the world does. I went to YouTube. Uh, to check and see how to take off fan belts on a cat 308 and surprisingly nobody has done a video on this that I could find So there's two things about my channel. One is I want it to be entertaining. The other is educational <laughs> Most of the time the education you're going to get is some education from my mistakes So we're going to try to get these fan belts off and uh, maybe it'll help somebody else in this same situation so to get this shroud off, there is a bolt right here, and there's a bolt right here, and there's one way back in there. I don't even know if I can get the camera. There's no way I can get the camera back in there to show you, but it's way back in that hole there. So in looking around on the uh, hydraulic control side, it looks like there's a panel right there. There's an access door right there that should get me into where that bolt is to hold that shroud on. But in order to get to that panel, Cat did offer us a good way to get up here though. Nice little step right there and step up here. So in order to get to that panel, we gotta get this panel off. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. To take this off, to get to that other panel. So let's do that. Our next panel is this panel right here. That's the one I pointed to, the first panel I showed you. So there's two bolts here, and there's two bolts on top. And my approach to working on something, because generally I don't know what I'm doing, is uh, I've come to figure out in life that if you take off enough parts, you'll finally get to the one you need. Oh, drop that washer down in there. 
and the nut. What are the bolt? Wow. All right, let's see if we can get that baby out of there. I think it's right there. Oh, golly. There's the bolt. I'm thinking we probably donated that washer to the machine. We'll have to find another one. And it turns out I didn't even need to take those bottom ones off because the bottom of that slotted. All I had to do was lift that panel up rather than taking the bolts out. Oh well, we learn. Now we are to the uh, bolt that I've been trying to get to by taking all that other junk off. And it's right there. So that bolt and the and, and the two on the other side gets that shroud off. All right, here we go. Oh, wrong way. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Come off her. All right, there it is. To get that one bolt off, we had to take off two panels makes sense to me back down here at the lower side now and uh, I'm hoping I can get that impact down there to get this one off oh wasn't even tight let's try this one oh not tight either guess it's a good thing I'm doing this I would have lost them before Luke till on all right, those three bolts are out, and uh, let's get this shroud out of here some way or another. Wind out, pull it a little harder. All right, there we go. One thing I did figure out is that by taking those two shields off over there, you got more light in there to see. Maybe that's why they wanted you to do that. But anyway, uh, that bolt that I was trying to take off, it was right there somewhere. So let's get these uh, adjustments loosened up and we'll get these belts off. My, my thought is, is that once I get these belts off, maybe, because I can't get to these bolts on the back side of this fan, there is no way to get that fan. Can y'all see in there? I can't either. There is no way to get that fan off because those radiators, and I am not taking all that radiator stuff off. So my hope is these belts are going to go over these fins of this fan. Anyway, I'll show you. I've got a plan. Let's see if it works. Let's check in with Diesel and see what he's doing. Where you at, son? There he is. There's Diesel. Where, where's your ball? Where's your ball? Go find it. He's like, it's raining outside. I don't want to go get no ball. He's going to look for it. We'll see if he finds it and brings it back. Let me find some wrenches to get these loose here and then uh, we'll get those belts loosened up. So this top bolt for this alternator is a 12 millimeter. Let's get that one loosened up. And the bottom one bolt is a 14 millimeter. And it is right there. I wonder why they couldn't use the same size bolt. We didn't have to find two wrenches. Wrong way. Right way. I don't know why I'm trying to take that all the way off. It don't need to come all the way off. It just needs to be loosened up. All right, tighten back up. Let's take this belt off now. And you can see, the reason I'm changing this out is it is completely worn out. It should have been changed a long time ago. This belt ought to be riding up at the top of this pulley. And currently it's, gosh, it's a good quarter of an inch down inside that pulley. And I ran out of adjustment. <laughs> Honestly, I would have kept tightening it till it broke probably. That's just the way I roll. Um, but yeah, I ran out of a, a tensioner there. I couldn't get it any tighter. 
So it's time to change it out. So that come off pretty easy, but we gotta get this air conditioner pulley belt off now. That one's also a 12 millimeter with a really long extension. I don't need that such long extension. I'll take that off and I'm gonna do this right here. And what that's doing, if I can get you in there, is loosen. I know it's gonna be loud, but hold your ears for a second. That is pulling this pulley right here. That bolt was, I was loosening. Uh-oh, I didn't loosen it, I tightened it. Stand by, we gotta go the other way. I'm not gonna bust your eardrums this time. I'm just gonna loosen it right quick and be back with you. Well, I'm not quite sure what just happened there. But I've done something bad. That's not getting the slack back in that pulley. Hold on, let me figure it out. I'll come back. Try to get you in there where you can see, but there's a nut on the back side of this bolt right here. And apparently, that's supposed to be tied against that thing right there, which then allows this bolt to push that pulley that way. So let me see if I can get that nut tight. And I know it's not gonna be that size. And my goodness, how am I gonna get in there to it? I figured out how to get a wrench on that. And by the way, that is a half inch, otherwise known as a 13 millimeter. And I can get it somewhere or another, right there. All right, I got the wrench on it. Now then, what am I gonna do with it? All right, that's aggravating me. I don't know what to do. I can't get a wrench in there to tighten that up against that pulley, so we're gonna try it the old fashioned way. Get a bigger hammer. I've got this bolt backed out to here now, which gives me room to knock this pulley forward. And that's what I'm gonna do, whether it likes it or not. Well, while I was trying to figure that out and I told Diesel to go get his ball, uh, turns out Diesel went and got in the field with the big white Great Pyrenees dog that I've got, Bowser, and uh, heard something out in the field. Yeah, there's a terrible fight going on out there. And now Diesel's got a, he's got a cut eye. Right there, I don't see him bleeding anywhere else. But that's a, I don't understand why we get in there. That's not a fight that that dog can win. <laughs> Bowser's about four times his size. While I'm hitting this pulley, go ahead and hit that like button. Help me out on the channel a little bit. That's not the right thing to be using. Maybe this will work a little better, a little punch. Ow! That hurt. Well, that is not getting any looser. I just saw in the front of this pulley there is a, a nut right there. So I'm guessing maybe you're supposed to loosen that. <laughs> I guess I'll try that. I got that figured out. That is a three quarter inch wrench. So let's see if that helps any. Hey, what do you know? Look at there. I said I had a plan and this is my plan here. I'm gonna get this belt off of these pulleys as best I can. That's not an easy task, it doesn't look like. Oh, I'm gonna get that new one on there. Hard as this is and get off. Come on. Okay. Uh, it's off the air conditioner pulley, it's off the idler, and now it's off of the uh, crankshaft. So let's see, my plan is to slide this over the, the fan and turn the fan until maybe it comes off. Bingo. Uh 
That one's off. That worked. Now then, belt number two is here. And that is the main one I'm wanting to change. Although it's smart to change both of them while I'm in here. Same thing, this one's a little smaller belt, but it still works. It goes over that fan blade just fine. The belts we're going to change, and this is the alternator belt, and that is a CAT special. There's the part number if anybody needs it, and there's the part number for the other belt, which is the uh, air conditioner belt. And of course, they're CAT, so uh, you can just imagine what they cost. Which reminds me, you remember a video from uh, several months ago, I guess, is when I was working on the skid steer and the alternator. If you didn't watch that video yet, that's a good video. Um, where I changed out, had a lot of issues with the alternator. Well, that rebuilt alternator that I put on there a couple months ago, spent $110 having it rebuilt after all the other issues I had with it, trying to get it replaced. Uh, it went out last week, and uh, so I broke down and bought the cat, uh, the cat alternator, and that invoice was $999.85 for an alternator and a belt. Wow. As I mentioned a while ago, the difference in these belts, now you can see the old one on the right and the new one on the left, the difference in the thickness on the back side of these two belts. Uh, yeah, it was time to change. And we put these on the same way we took them off, right over the fan blades there. Yeah, this is one I put on first. Although it seemed to be a little easier to get it off than it is when we put it on. Oh. All right, that baby's on there. Let's go ahead and tighten down this top nut or bolt. All right. Now then, I want to tighten the bottom one. And I'm using German specs on that bottom bolt, good and tight. The alternator belt is now on, and let's go back with the other one. Probably should have left that in loose so I could turn this fan a little bit easier, but that's a mistake. First mistake I've made today. Y'all can hear me over there. What I'm trying to do is get this belt. It'll be nice to have some help. But I'm trying to get that belt pushed out there so I can get it on that air conditioner pulley. Looks like it's going on. And now get it on the top pulley. These have got a little bit of, I guess that'll be all right. Okay, well, I'm going and getting the belt on here. If you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. We got about, I got about 70 something videos, I guess, so far. And uh, also comment if you don't mind. I enjoy responding to those comments. And I, and I do respond to every comment that I get. Hope that don't come off that pulley as I'm screwing that bolt out. Come on now. Nope. Well, that, that ain't no joke. That thing's hard to get on there. Maybe if I take it off the air conditioner pulley first, put it on the top pulley, put it on the crank, 
and then go over here to the other side. Let's see if this works any better. <clears throat> well, what do you know? Maybe that's why you take the panel off on this side. <laughs> it worked. Now then we just want to tighten up that tensioner. We get the belt good and tight like we want it. Good and tight. Tighten up that nut on the end of that pulley. Alright. While I'm working on this uh, excavator, I just want to point out one thing. A lot of these wrenches, a lot of these old wrenches that I use to work with, uh, and even this old toolbox was my papa's tools, and you know he's passed away um, some years ago. It's just a nice uh, reminder of your of your folks, or your grandparents, or your dad, or whatever, when you get a chance to use their tools, and you know I appreciate those opportunities to use those tools. That means a lot to me. I I remember him using them, and and. Uh, and, and me trying to use them when I was a kid, following him around. So. The alternator belt is tight, and the air conditioner belt is tight. Actually, the alternator belt, that could stand to be just a little tad tighter. So let's fix that up right quick. Belts are good and tight now. The GoPro shut down, it got too hot. And that's so why I went ahead and tightened this up. Let's get this thing started up and see how it does. Make sure they don't fly off. Looks like they're running good and true. I got everything lined up like it's supposed to. And I think those will last a little while. See if we can get this fan shroud to go back in there without breaking it. I'm beginning to wonder. I am beginning to wonder. There we go. After that little fight with Bowser, Diesel hadn't got more than 10 feet away from him. <laughs> he don't want no more of that. Well, I'm getting these uh, bolts put back in here. You know, I mentioned in the first part of the video that uh, retaining wall is building down in Ringo, Georgia. And sometimes your windshield, sometimes the bug. I got some pictures yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. I got some pictures of uh, the results of some heavy rain and my foundation drain behind that retaining wall. That wasn't good. Stay tuned for those videos. It's I, that job took me about three weeks. It's a really nice retaining wall. And I'm proud of the way the wall looks. I'm finished with the wall. I got the last block set Friday. But I've got some work to do on the foundation drain. Man, it flooded that whole area. It's a Christian school there at that church where I'm working to build that wall. And they've got school starting Monday, a week from today. And I flooded the whole place. As I was putting up my tools, I was reminded about what I said just a few minutes ago about my papa's tools and and how that uh, you know those tools are special to me. He was a special person. He was a special man, and he's worthy of honor. And and uh, he was really good to me. And I miss him, but but uh, I'm just proud of what who he was for me in my life. And it reminded me of a passage of scripture, and we're going to end this as we always do uh, in Ephesians chapter six. Uh, verse 2 says, Honor thy father and the mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, 
And then it says that it may be well with thee, and thou may live long on the earth. And also reminded this uh, Bible was given to me by my, my mom, and it's the first Bible I ever had with my name on it, which you know I thought was a big deal when I got it as a kid. It did sustain a little bit of water damage. It uh, through, uh, uh, was in storage and got wet. But this, this Bible here has the same power, uh, anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit, that a brand new Bible does. And we need to live by this word and live by the truth of it. And that's why I say that, that we ought to honor our mothers and our fathers and our grandparents and those who are worthy of honor in our life. The Bible teaches us very plainly that they are due that honor and that we ought to do that. So I hope this has been an encouragement to you and, and uh, live by that to honor our mothers and fathers, grandparents and those people in our life that are special to us. So God bless you. I appreciate it. As always, I enjoy responding to and reading the comments that you folks uh, put in the videos. So I appreciate those. If you hadn't already, subscribe and hit that like button. God bless you. appreciate it. And as a reminder, if you uh, like these messages at the end of my videos, uh, we'll do a little bit of Bible teaching and, and read the scripture and do a message. Just remember the other YouTube channel I have, it's Digging the Word. And uh, that channel is just strictly for Bible teaching and messages that I've done in the past. So if you uh, like that, just hop on over there and join that channel as well.